Okay, so today we are going to have a snap with Kamal Vikas and he is preparing for HPCL of subject environmental engineering, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Kamal. So let's start with your snap. Kamal, what project you have in college time? Yes, sir. College, I actually have done project in uh, water resource engineering, sir, not in environmental engineering. Okay. Water resource. What was your project? Uh, it is a plunging jet uh, evaluation of uh, Gabion wares. Okay. Which flow type you can see in a jet of stream? Uh, a nozzle okay. or you can say. Uh, which uh, a stream? Yeah. Flow. I mean, which type of flow will occur when a, when the water is flowing from a, you know, converging nozzle? Converging nozzle. Uh, flow. Okay. It's unsteady, uh, unsteady flow, sir. Unsteady and uh, un non-uniform flow. Okay. Okay. Let's come back to your environmental engineering. Correct. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me what is BOD five? BOD five is, BOD? is uh, biochemical oxygen demand after uh, five days of incubation period at uh, twenty-five degrees Celsius. Okay. At twenty-five degrees C, are you sure? I am not sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Can you tell me which are the two stages of the BOD? BOD uh, nitrogenous uh, demand and carbonaceous demand. And what is the difference between these two demands? Uh, at the first stage, uh, that. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah, Prakash. Prakash, you can join me at 5.15 sharp, 5.15 sharp. Okay, sir. Okay, the snap is going on. You can leave the session. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, we were talking about yes. carbonaceous uh, BOD and nitrogenous, and nitrogenous BOD. BOD. What is the basic BOD. difference between them? Uh, in carbonaceous, uh, starting with carbonaceous demand, actually first uh, the total organisms were killed. After that, uh, you, iron and... Uh, Everything comes under, uh, actually, I just forgot the total reaction of that. No issues, no issues, no issues. Okay. So write a question for me. Take DO initial as 10 mg per liter. Okay. Take DO okay. initial as 10 mg per liter. Okay. And DO final as 2 mg per liter. DO initial 10. N final, final is 2 mg per liter. Okay. And it is a 2% water solution. Okay. Yes, sir. So, BOD5, you need to tell me. BOD5. Uh, actually, it is uh, 400, sir. 400. One more question. The DO initial is same 10 mg per liter. DO okay. final after 5 days is 0 mg per liter. What is the okay. BOD? Actually, we can't predict. Uh, actually, it is... Uh, we can't predict Why? the BOD. Why? Because we don't know exactly when the DO is totally zero. So we can't, okay. but at the limit of five days, we don't know when it has happened. Okay, okay. Okay, good. So tell me, what is inversion lapse rate? In, uh, environment lapse rate or inversion lapse rate? Inversion lapse rate. Inversion, inversion lapse rate is opposite to the environmental lapse it the temperature uh, goes on uh, dec uh, decreasing when you go up but it increases when you go up is inversion of lapse rate i'm getting confused i'm asking inversion lapse rate what is inversion lapse rate inversion lapse rate it is opposite to the environmental lapse rate sir i'm asking what is inversion lapse rate okay inversion uh, lapse rate that d <laughs> dx by sorry d altitude uh, that temperature by altitude the difference in temperature by difference in altitude less than zero okay. the slope slope is negative okay which is the best plume behavior and which is the worst plume behavior which we can observe in the atmosphere uh, best plume is uh, 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 that uh, full, uh, uh, worst plume is a fumigating uh, plume. 
and okay. uh, best, uh, best gloom is uh, uh, what you can say that mm, mm, i can't uh, say the term it is a uh, conning like conning type of gloom why fumigating is worst and why conning is best because uh, when a particle emits from that uh, chimney that uh, f- goes to the atmosphere and goes on increasing not coming to the uh, the down side of the chimney in fumigating it comes down side of the chimney but it is very harmful to the environment so it is a very harmful and what about lofting oh, sorry uh, coning a uh, coning it goes up sir uh, after the uh, emission of the chimney it goes up with a adiabatic slab up upside okay name any two primary pollutants and two secondary pollutants uh primary pollutants i'm asking okay uh primary pollutants carbon dioxide mm, nitrogen and uh, uh primary uh, secondary pollution is ozone and uh, pero, uh, pan peroxystyl nitrate how pan is formed pan uh, I, i don't know sir pan okay so my next question to you will be can you tell me which impurities are removed in rapid sand filter and which is removed in slow sand filter the impurities are dissolved colloidal and bacterial out of these three impurities which will be removed in slow sand filter and which will be removed in rapid sand filter uh actually in filter we removed uh, only dissolved filters sir dissolved uh, sorry dissolved uh, organisms so you have in dissolved substance we remove that in filters uh, both rapid sand and uh, slow sand filter then what is the difference between rapid sand filter and slow sand filter because the rate of filtration is more in rapid sand filter and rate of filtration less in uh, slow sand filter uh, but efficiency is uh, less in rapid sand filter efficiency is more in slow sand filter and what is the efficiency in slow sand filter and efficiency of rapid sand filter uh efficiency is around uh, 98 to 99% in slow sand filter and it comes to 90 in uh, rapid sand filter okay can you tell me what is the tds total dissolved solids limit permissible limit in drinking water and what is the cause of rejection limit uh total dissolved solids uh, 400 uh, acceptable permissible up uh, rejection limit up to 2000 400 permissible and 2000 rejection okay okay so while doing chlorination what ph range should be preferred and why uh while doing chlorination it it must be preferable to 6.5 to 8 because uh, if it is uh, hmm, less than 6.5 the actually the chlorine does not form hypochlorates it, it doesn't form like a, a it will be like a combined uh, it chlorine form only it not divides if it is more than 8 uh, it uh, what you say it does not uh, have a good a good effect on the this uh, chlorine reaction what you have then chlorine plus uh, h2o my last question to you will be what is freely available chlorine which ions are responsible for f- contribute towards the freely available chlorine uh freely available chlorine uh, Uh, chlorine di- uh, chlorine dioxide and uh, c uh, that chlorine oxide is called freely available chlorine okay okay then uh, kamal let me give you your feedback yes sir okay kamal uh, i think you haven't revised properly right uh, yes sir yes sir because even in the questions which were you were able to answer you were getting confused and you were taking too long Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right, and you were not getting to the point which I was asking. Yes, sir. Right. Like when I asked you first about your even your project, you were not comfortable. Basically, from a nozzle when the surface area is in your uh, cross section area is reducing, then it is a steady non-uniform flow flow because the amount is constant, so steady flow will be observed. Right. but this will be non uniform because the flow properties will be changing with respect to space okay right after that i asked you about do initial and do final that question you answered correctly 
right? Because we don't know when the DO fall to zero, which day. So it it won't be possible to take to find out that, and hence BOD five we don't know, okay. right? After that, I asked you. I mean, in the first stage, second stage BOD, you were getting confused that carbonaceous and nitrogenous BOD. In the carbonaceous BOD, it is the first four or five days, and the it is because the most of the carbonaceous elements or components, organic matter, biodegradable organic matter, is decomposed in that stage. And after that, mm-hmm. nitrogenous uh, the decomposition starts of organic matter, biodegradable organic matter. And the bacteria responsible are nitrosomonas bacteria and nitrobacter bacteria, right? After that, BOD5 is measured at 20 degrees C, not 25 degrees C. Okay, sir. So, uh... After that, TDS limits I have uh, asked you. Basically, permissible TDS is 500 mg per liter for drinking water and cause of rejection if any other source is not available. And it is two hundred two thousand mg per liter. Okay, five hundred. Lastly, I asked you what is inversion. Basically, you were very very confused. I mean, it looks like that you heard it this term like ten years ago, right? right. You yes. knew things, but you don't know the basic. You know, uh-huh. in interview, we need to be focused on the points basic, which I am asking. I mean, which the interviewer is asking. Just answer point to point, right? Because if you are elaborating things which are not required. Then it will bore that bore, and it will bore the interviewer, and it will make a negative impact on your interview, right? Okay. So basically, inversion is nothing, but when the altitude increases, the temperature decreases. This is the inversion lapse rate, and you were telling about that it is opposite of environmental lapse rate. But my, I never asked about environmental lapse rate. Okay, sir. Okay. Right? They are dependent on each other. They are reverse of each other. But this is not, you know, they have definitions of their own as well. After that, I asked you, which is best plume behavior and which is worst plume behavior. So the yes, worst is fumigating plume, and the reason for it is that the inversion is occurring on top of the chimney. So the pollutants okay. are not able to escape the environment, and they are you know surround uh, you know uh, dispersed in the surroundings, right? Okay. Causing air pollution. Whereas the best plume behavior is not coning; it is lofting plume. Lofting yes. In lofting plume, the inversion occurs below the. Bottom. Dispersion of uh, pollutants and hence the pollutants escape that layer, surrounding layer, and they, you know, they escape into the atmosphere, outer atmosphere, and the inversion layer don't allow or them to come in the surroundings you know, publicly. So it is the best plume case, right? After that, last question I asked you is, what are primary pollutants and secondary pollutants? Primary pollutants are not nitrogen. Nitrogen is not a primary pollutant. Nitrogen oxides are primary pollutant. Uh, NOx and SOx, NOx. or you can say carbon dioxide is also a primary pollutant, right? But in secondary pollutant, ozone and PaN, we can say secondary pollutant. How PaN is formed? Basically, when hydrocarbons react with nit- NOx, nitrogen oxides, in the presence of sunlight, then they form okay. PaN. It is a photochemical reaction. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. So. This is how you should answer the questions, right? Always, always revise first. Let it is my suggestion for you. It is your choice whether you do it or not. But my suggestion yes, is always revise first, right? It should not okay. feel like you are, you know, you are going somewhere else in your thoughts. Okay, sir. While answering the question, right? It should be interactive session. They ask you a question, you answer them. If you don't okay, know, sir. just simply say, "I don't. I'm not able to recall as of now." and they will understand and last point is you are i think you are at low confidence right very low confidence don't do that increase your confidence believe in yourself right okay sir. because confidence even if you are answering one out of 10 question the confidence should be there the conviction in your words should be there it should not feel like that you don't know or you are just guessing guesswork should not be there okay. proper explanation even even if you are answering incorrect answer but you should have some explanation beyond that right okay, okay then so this is all so any any question from your side uh, no sir how actually in which topics i used to do more focus on this environment every topic re revise everything okay. when is your interview uh, on no, monday sir 16th okay then time is less at least focus on the major topics like bod environment pollution or you can say uh, what do you say waste water treatment right focus okay, on sir. that okay, okay thank you okay sir